what's going on, Solid Steppers? It's Miss Ward coming to you from sunny South Florida. It's 101. Got a message for somebody today. And uh, seems like somebody need to hear it. Of course, I need to hear it always. You know, when I'm sharing things with you guys, it's because I'm having those experiences usually at that time, been through it, or something reminded me of it. So let me tell y'all something. The hardest thing I've had to learn how to do is move forward and not look back. Whenever you're moving forward in your life and elevating and going to new levels, you know what they say, the old folks say, with new levels come new devils. And that's very true. And the thing you gotta be cautious of is as you move forward, since you have a heart for the people, you're always looking back and you're concerned about them, you wanna reach back and get them, but you can't go get nobody that don't wanna go, you know? And I think that's the hardest thing because you want everybody to go with you. You want everybody to have great experiences. You want everybody to realize the dreams they have never even thought of, the opportunities. You know, but the bottom line is if people walk around with blinders on, they won't open their eyes, they won't they pick their head up and look at the horizon and see what's possible. Unfortunately, you cannot do that for them. Continue to elevate your circle. Continue to hold yourself accountable. Get you right. You know, it's just like I've heard somebody say, and I'm sure we all heard it, especially in the field of dreams, build it and they will come. There's always someone that needs you. There's always someone that needs your help, guidance, and they appreciate you for it and will pay you for it. You know, there's a lot of us that have gone through experiences and have done that alone. Like I was talking to one of my brothers this morning and he was talking about, Shell, I think it's our reaping season. You know, it's a time to sow and it's a time to reap. The question is, is it your sowing season or is it your reaping season? Do you know? I think that's really important because at the end of the day, I've seen a lot of people and a lot of businesses come to fruition, do really well, and then plateau. That's something you don't ever want to do. You don't want to plateau. You know, there's no such thing as, as treading water and standing still. That just means the world is passing you by. You know, and I don't think people really understand what growth is. But you dang sure can't grow by looking backwards. You know? The only thing that I know that look backwards and work is, is this thing called Sankofa. And you look up that word, you know, you should know Sankofa, you should know what it means. And it's related to a, a situation with a bird that flies looking backwards. It's, it's a serious, serious situation. So let me explain something to you. You're going to have to go ahead and mourn those relationships, those peoples, those situations. Because every time you get blessed up, there's always going to be something to challenge you and put you right back where you came from. Never allow the enemy to win. Continue to build yourself up. You know, I was just thinking about how tired I am. I'm watching myself make little minor mistakes, you know, but I'm paying attention to the fact that I need more rest that. You know, I need to shut down the day early. You know, I still got some coaching calls and consultations to do tonight. So, but at the end of the day, I'm living my best life, you know. I have opportunity. The sky is the limit. And I actually have the ability to affect the outcome of my every day by keeping my attitude in order, not allowing any negativity to come in my world and to shut it down and to realize, you know, people are who they are. You can't change them. The only thing you can control is you. So put your step, one step in front of the other, like solid steppers do. Look at your business, look at your weak points, look at your flaws, look at your areas of opportunity, and address them one step at a time. You can't do it all in a day. You know, I'm blessed to be flocked by professionals and people who really are about building the brand, uh, building things out for the future that are stable and reliable. Because there's so many people that get out here and create stuff and they can't maintain it. They always got a good idea, but they have no execution on this plan. No systems or processes in place. And no long-term solutions. I mean, we got to be better than that. We got to do better than that. And that's something I'm always applying. I'm always trying to get my keep my 
my stuff in order. Always. I'm still checking on some of my mentees and people like that because, you know, as far as I'm concerned, some of us got a relationship for life. You know what I mean? And that's simply because I see, saw something you did, I see something you now. I just need you to stay at it. You know, I may not be able to grab the phone and holler at you every day, but I, that don't mean that Miss Ward don't love you. It just means that Miss Ward is just doing what Miss Ward got to do to serve, to be of service for more people and to help others. And at the end of the day, you got to take care of you. You got to take everything I have taught you, shown you. Uh, learn from my mistakes. Learn from my trials and tribulations. That's the only reason I put this on Front Street. Because, you know, I really don't want y'all in my business like that. But, you know, somebody got to do it. And somebody got to be real and legit with y'all. Somebody got to tell you how hard this really is. But that it gets better. It really does. As long as you learn from your mistakes. Learn from your shortcomings. You know, do what you got to do. You can do it. Every day I know somebody that's watching me wakes up with an idea. Small steps make the large goal. Depend on yourself, believe in yourself. You can do anything. Right now I'm headed to uh, <clears throat> take care of my favorite appliance. Shout out to Brother Lamar telling us to get on top of these GE dishwashers. So you know what, Lamar? I got both boys. I'm headed out now. Use the interface, not lighting up. So I'm gonna get there, check, check for the signal on the bottom, you know, check to see how many boats I got going to the top of uh, UI. And if I uh, got boats going to the top of UI, I already know it's gonna be that UI. If I don't have the boat that's going to the UI, you, get, you know, you got the blinks on the board, we know what to do. But that's what I mean. You gotta keep your pulse to the ground. You gotta be able to speak the language in any business in order to have respect. And you gotta be humble enough to grow and learn from anybody. I just left a place and I was just chuckling to myself about how <clears throat> certain immigrants and groups of people come to America and build their own economy. You know, and I love it. So I happen to have to stop and do some work in my virtual office and I happen to pull in and I never even knew there was a used appliance place. It's a uh, really uh, bustling plaza uh, located in Pompano and it's uh, a lot of uh, businesses with a lot of uh, patrons and owners of Haitian descent. So, you know, I look at how ingenious a lot of my Haitian friends are and things like that because I watch them take crumbs. I watch them take stuff we throw away and make money off it. So I'm sitting there chuckling, right? So I went in when I finished the things I needed to do. I jumped out the truck and I went into the Haitian uh, appliance spot. They see selling used appliances. Got the sign to say we service, we do this, we do that. He, you know, got his advertisement up there. And I walk in there and ain't nothing but Kenmore and LGs in there. And I'm looking at him like, I know I know what's up. Like, I know you're not putting the real compressor in and blah, blah, blah. And I'm not knocking nobody hustle and, or am I signing off on it. But I'm just telling you, like, he came in and I told him, I said, yeah, those LGs and, and Kim boys are headache. He said, he was telling me, stuck his chest out. He's like, I fixed it. I fixed it. I switched it from a 220 to 110. I said, well, what did you do about the board? Well, I bypassed this, this, and that. And I'm chuckling to myself because you see that in YouTube where people, <clears throat> I like to call it, chop and screw appliances like i said it's not the way i do business but obviously there's a market for it you know hey i'm just saying what i saw it took everything i had not to take my camera out and go up do a video with him but i was like don't do it don't do it don't do it Shia. i be in some questionable places sometimes but hey this is what we call life you roll with it and you can learn from anybody and i'm telling you that dude had Oh, let me tell you, he has some of the prettiest gas ranges I have ever seen in my life. Like, I put that in my crib. You know what I mean? It was gorgeous. And I mean, and I know that he's picking these up off the side of the road. I know he's getting them from people who are discarding them. And he's got them all lined up in his shop ready to go. I'm like, I like this dude. Because anybody that has ingenuity, I can learn from it. And I'm looking at this man, he's got to be about 40-something. You know, there was a young lady and, uh, you know, a little girl sitting um, up front.
looked like one of the girls was doing some homework or something. But I'm like, whoa, that's powerful. I love it. So, like I said, I can't knock it. I cannot knock it. But with that said, I'm going to wrap it up. I got some calls coming in. Y'all keep stepping. Miss Ward signing off.